I can't think of anything clever to say this week. Let's play some Sun and Sea. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Sun and Sea. First off, thank you to everybody who voted in the poll. None of you did. And the results of 5 to 4 were to get the cat. So, let's get the cat. Pick up a wretched mog. Brow. Brow. A yellow-eyed, mangy, piebald thing winds around your ankles like a manacle chain. You've never seen a cat's mouth open that wide. Presumably, it's hungry. What's that smell? It jumps down from your arms and disappears into the darkness of the ship. An hour later, five brutally executed rats are found on the foredeck. Right, so we've lost five supplies. We now have one wretched mog. So before we do anything else, let's have a look at our officers. He gives us iron plus two, whereas the comatose ferret, old Squeakers himself, gives us heart plus one. Now we have a much better iron score than we do a heart score, so for now I think I'm going to leave things the way they are. But we have the mog, and we can swap them in whenever we want to. So there you go. Democracy has told. We now have a wretched mog. So let's see what else we can do here on Mutton Island, and then we'll move on. Drinks at the Cock and Magpie. So that would cost us 20 echo. And that's probably going to reduce us our terror by a point or two. Our terror is 46. Don't think we need to do that right now. So, before we go, let's have a quick look at the map and see where we need to go. So we are here on Quakers Haven. We need to go to Westergren's Fire and then up to Field Haven. We will stop on the, uh, the port there. And then we're heading east over to this undiscovered port here which actually that's probably going to raise terror a lot so I'm trying to try and find a different route of doing that but let's go the important thing for us now is to keep terror down as low as possible because that is a real problem so seeing as we are in a dark area let's bump up the speed a little bit Make people feel a little bit better. Shepherd Wash, the salty hinterland of London, home to hermits, nuns, and shadowy business. Let's have a quick look there. Ah, let's talk about this. Okay. Right. Let's get moving. Notice we're getting a little bit low on fuel as well. Well, I think we're going to be alright. If not, we have plenty of bat in the pot. That'll do us nicely. Fed the crew. As we have a light here, we'll do that. And considering that, we actually will go into Field Haven on the way back. So let's just head east here as fast as we can before the terror gets too high. It's already over 50. But here is the coast. So. Start turning so we don't crash. Discovered Abbey Rock. Discovered the Sisterhood. And we didn't crash, which is also good. And there we go. There's that dock we missed. Abbey Rock. So let's pop in there and see what the sister had. Sister had? Sisterhood have to say. What is our terror doing? Our terror is now 54. A bit higher than I'd like, but we can live with that. Okay, here we are at Abbey Rock. First of all, shipyard, nothing, shops, nothing. Okay. So, we can trade supplies. They'll pay a fair price for surprise, not a good price, mind. Okay, that's always good. Port report. Let's do that anyway. As always, nothing is happening. The sisters watch us. We feel their eyes. The sea crashes on the rocks, withdraws. 
the fortress stands solid as last as as it stands stolid stolid there's a word i haven't heard in a long time the fortress stands stolid is the last year of a century the greatest peril you risk here is the certain purpleness of prose right we have a new port report we can knock at the gate with news we can watch the convent for a while we can offer a gift with a hunting trophy this will reduce terror i tempted to do that let's watch the convent for a little bit anyway first exotic refuse the convent is silent a few lights prick its bulk bells sound at the times of prayer you are almost ready to give up when a side door opens four nuns march out carrying something wrapped in a blanket and fling it into the sea you creep down to examine it it's well, it was likely unidentifiable, even before the nuns used it for weapons practice. Now it leaks food, fluid from a dozen puncture runes, but it still smells of the Z. We have a strange catch. Very nice. We can trade supplies, we can offer a gift, we can knock on the, do the gates with do news. Let's offer a gift. A narrow hospitality. The muscular prioress inspects your trophy. I'll put it with the others, she says. Her tone suggests grudging respect. You, and no more than three zailers, are invited to dine with them that evening. And you do, on a black labour board and slightly burnt cabin trout, among fierce women with spiked rosaries. One of them hacks up her trout with an axe. But at the end of the evening, when the plates are cleared away, the room goes quiet. A tall nun, with a startling, with a startling strabomus, sings in a rich deep voice like a stolen sunset about the hills of her homeland far above firelight flickers on the face of your crew we've lost six terror very nice we've lost a hunting trophy not a problem right we can't offer a gift anymore we can knock at the gate with news we can trade let's do the news first the muscular prioress, the abbess's lieutenant, comes to the door to listen. She nods and makes notes. She pays particular attention to the news of a marsh beast predators and the traffic of the rooftops. In return, she offers a rather perfunctory blessing, but the blessing reassures your crew. So we've lost two terror. This looks like a very good place to stop and get terror reduced. Right, we can do that again. I don't really think we need to right now, but let's trade some supplies. Ah, oh, 11 echo for one supplies. So, right, if we have happen to be rather laid down with bat, another good place to go for money. Excellent. Right, I think we've done all we really want to do here. So before we go, let's have a quick look at the map. So we've been to Station 3 before. So I think what we're going to do now is we are going to go west to Fieldhaven and then we're going to make our way back to London let's put in these port reports make some money and we'll take it from there so let's go six fuel a little bit worrying we'll just have to see how we do ah those big guys again They're at least decent fighting You gonna catch us up? He caught us up. Let's go. Right, two of those. And because that's an animal, we shall use the harpoons, which apparently do more damage. We shall see. I think it's got plenty of health, so we could certainly use them at doing as much damage as possible to it. Yeah. See how these look. That did. Whoa, 54 damage. Now that is very impressive. There we go. Okay, a tough challenge to dissect it for knowledge. Do we want to butcher it for supplies and occasionally other oddities? I think we want to butcher this one for supplies and occasionally other oddities. Alright, we've gained four unprepossessing mass. 
Put one supplies. Okay, let's see. All right, there's probably something horrible inside, but possibly there is not. It won't keep, but it looks tasty. Fling it overboard. Oh, our terror is all right. Let's fling it. Let's have a look. Um, bland but satisfying. It's rather like eating trout. If the trout had tried to kill you a few hours ago, make that Erstat's chow trout. Okay. All right. Okay, but we lost forty hunger. Not too bad. All right. Let's move on. Next port is here. Next Megalops is approaching. I think we'll get to port first, but if not, they're relatively... Oh! Looks like he's brought a friend. And his friend brought a friend. We are popular today, aren't we? Okay, Shepherd's Isles. Compile a port report. In the black, bleak light of full stars, surface rolling like a porridge pot, up with a roar of steam and a flash of fire, three widows swim in tentacles, and then we saw his highness. Yes, I'm finding that really believable as well. Okay, so what else can we do in the Shepherd's Isles? Nothing! They have shops. Um... I suppose we could buy some fuel, but it's rather expensive. No, I think six will do us, and no ships. Alright. Right, it looks like we're not going to get out without a fight. So let's just make a, a, a beeline for freedom. If one of them catches us up, which he did, well, he can go in the pot, can't he? He'll make a change from bat. Yep, yeah, we'll get him next shot, but let's chuck another one in just in case. Does that do? Lunge. Uh, that, that'll actually do some damage. How much damage does that do? Ooh, quite a lot. We'll get him now. Right, looks like we're going to need to start needing to do some repairs. Butcher of supplies. Continue. A curious sack. Wind what's there. We have a lamentable relic. A human skull. This isn't the Z-Beast's stomach. What is it doing here? Like a seed in a gourd. Hmm. Right, let's get away from these guys because, quite frankly, another shot like that will actually hurt us. There we go far enough away from them now, we can slow down a little bit. The little megalopses don't worry me. Moving on the map, okay, not the best, but we'll stop. Yeah, we'll just headrest and we'll get back to port. Fight back quickly. This one is not going to be a problem. I'm looking forward to the day when we consistently get to uh, 50 illumination on that first light because it's going to make combat so much quicker and easier. It seems like at the moment we're always doing 48. Uh, how hungry are we? Let's dissect it for a, uh, a fragment. There we go. Because our fragment score is almost full. So there we go. Let's run to these islands and speed up a little bit, actually. Oh, something I haven't done for a while. Let's stop in at this lighthouse. Okay. Ship dodge, nothing. Shops, nothing. Okay. Oh, I see. That one. Okay. 
Oh, we don't have any recent news. That's a shame. Okay. Off we go. Plenty of uh, fuel still. And there we can see the coast. So let's just make a beeline up there. And we're very close back to fallen London. Home waters. The crew dawdle at the rail, watching the lights of London. There's port. So it looks like we're going to need to do some repairs. That was quite a blow, wasn't it? But I think what we'll do here is we have some time to uh, stop in London, pick up some money, see what uh, repairs we can do. And then I will start, just do a little bit of grinding back and forwards, make some money, which I'll mostly do off camera, and I'll give you guys the highlights. Okay, so let's our terror back down to 50. Gain one nightmare strength, that's not the end of the world. Be nice if we could have kept it below 50, but we couldn't. Click messages from the Harbour Master. Someone wants to sign on. Okay, so let's have a quick look through what can we do in London. We can read the morning papers. Excellent. We've lost one terror, we've gained one supplies, and we now have a recent news. Why do we gain one supplies? The Carnate is threatening war. They always are. London's colonies on the Carnelian coast want independence. They always do. The Antazi, the papers report, has undergone another alteration. Not yet it hasn't, you'd know. Ooh, a promotional coupon from Mrs. Plenty's Provisioners for a half cask of salt heron. You could use that. It makes a change from that, doesn't it? Can't write a will yet. Can't adorn our lodgings. Can't convert our collection. Can't write a song with the Z. Can't retire just yet. Because we don't have an elegant townhouse or a Z-side mansion, I'm a little bit worried that we can't do that yet. Um, I swear that was here before. Perhaps you know, there's, there's something else you need to do. Okay, let's go back to London. Let's see what is there. There. Right, we can lose a bit of terror. The 30 Echo, don't want to do that just yet. Hire a more crew. In fact, what I think we want to do first is we want to go to the Admiralty, support some port reports. Quaker's Haven. Okay, so that gave us five echo. Not the end of the world. Abbey Rock. That's given us 20 echo. And new accomplishment. Excellent. And we gained an Admiralty's favour. Excellent. So, do we submit it as fact? 26% chance of success? No, that's submitted as unsubstantiated hearsay. So we gain 10 echo for that. Not bad. Has anything changed here? Ask what he needs. No, nothing's changed there. Okay. Visit the alarming scholar. We can give him the strange catch. We can give him the lamentable relic. Let's give him the lamentable relic. A beaming smile. This would be so terribly wasted in an ossuary. She, he, buffs the cranium with a sleeve. I think the climbing briar rose would suit this one rather well. A yellow rose, perhaps. Thank you so much. Let's keep this between ourselves. So we only got five echo for that, so I'm feeling a bit cheated there. Please remind me not to sell those to him again, but we will. Do we want to keep the strange catch? Do we want to sell it? Let's sell it. That's given us a quick, a quick 10 echo. Excellent. Right. Let's go into London. We don't want to hire... Um, 
Don't want to hire any more crew. Let's pick up some tomb colonists. Let's see what recruits we can get. All right, so tireless mechanic, Carnelian exile, engage a zailer. Ability echo. I think we're a little bit short of money to pick anyone up at the moment, so we will not do that. Okay, anything here? No. Um, let's have a look at uh, putting our ship into dry dock. So we've lost the rats. We have enough Admiralty favour now to get a repair done for 20 Echo in the Admiralty Yards, which I actually think is a good deal. Um, because the next one is 30 here and 15 for a poor quality job. So let's take the Admiralty one because I think that's probably going to be a better deal. So we've got 25 hull, that's put us up to 55 for 20 echo. I think that's a good deal. We've we lost one Admiralty's favour. Alright. So we need to bear that in mind. Are using this costs us Admiralty's favour? Alright. Do we get some more? Yeah, let's get some more. Let's get it. There we go. Everything is probably perfectly alright. Various events have occurred, but there's probably no need to worry. Probably. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, that leaves us with 100 Echo. So, shops quickly. Let's pick up some fuel. Ten, there we go, at least it's with ten echoes, so we can't buy anything else. Right, I'm going to start doing a few little round trips um, to Vendabyte, and I will give you the highlights. So I'll see you in a moment. Right, here we go. There's a fight, and hopefully uh, a nice little prize at the end of it. Let's see. Let's do it like that. Mm, I don't think we're going to get to 100 with this one. So we'll do another Luminate and another those. There we go. Don't need that anymore. And that should do them. There you go. Sunk. And we didn't take a point of damage, which is always good for me. Right. 80% chance. Let's send it back. We saw it fortunate. Excellent. Right. I'm sure you don't want to see me fight those bats. So I'll drop out here and I'll see you when the next exciting thing happens. A serpent image. Here, as Zelo shouts, there is something nestled in the mussy crook of a grey leaf tree. A wooden serpent lacquered with black, red, and yellow. Its eyes are garnet flakes. That'll fetch a good price at the bazaar, the Zelo observed. But it has a cursy look, points out another. So we can chancy challenge for taking it. A high risk challenge for taking it and rewarding the sailor. Let's see what happens if we take it okay we have you recognize it it is the image of a finger king a serpent thing that crawls beneath the skin of mirrors they might be real and they might not but why take the chances you order the confiscation of all mirrors until journey's end and explain that this will keep the shift safe there is some grumbling from the zailers who like to trim their beards but the measure reassures most of them. So we've gained an outlandish artifact. We have Finger King's footsteps. It looks like that's a storyline. Um, we succeeded in the pace challenge, but we gained two terror. But I lost a lot of terror on the journey up, so that's not too bad.
So we're back in London. Let's sell off that outlandish artifact. Okay, so that's given us a nice hundred echo. Very nice. That Finger King story doesn't show here. That's a, that's a shame. Okay. Uh, let's show here. There we go. Finger King's footsteps. So even though we sold the outlandish artifact, we still have that. So I'm assuming that is a story related element. Yeah, it's a story related element. Okay. While we're here, let's go to our lodgings and pick up this prize money. That from the total value of the prizes you've sent home, the Crown and the Bazaar have deducted prize tax, prize tariffs, running costs, repairs, and misery surcharge. Nevertheless, a good sum remains. Spend it in good health. So there's another extra 50. Not bad. Once more onto the breach. See if that will get us over 50. It normally does. That, something up to 100. It normally does. Not quite enough. Okay, so we'll have another one of those and then one of those. There we go. That should actually finish it. To be honest with you, let's just do that. Because that's going to finish him off. As I said. Okay, let's send her back to port. We were fortunate, so there's another 50. Which is good, because that's how we make our money on these trips. Okay, we are back in Vendabite, and once again we have found the Carmine Chapel. We've done this one a few times before. Um, normally we search the place. So this time I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an offering. An uncertain act outcome. Prayer soothes the soul, they say. Your soul is not soothed. You wait, head bent, while... The light in the chapel beats on, shadowless and unmoved. Nothing changes. The red of the place gets into your vision. The faces of your crew seem flustered, as if fevered. You hear your own breathing echo raggedly. No one is sitting in the pew behind you. It doesn't stop you looking. We gained five terror. We lost one echo, but we gained a tale of terror, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Still, not great. Burning blue. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades, but it's not a good omen. Let's attempt to calm them. So we gained a point of terror. Okay, not good. Hopefully another 50. Actually, let's do these ones. Quite frankly, the our own score, these salvos should be good enough for two of them at the very least. Let's see how that goes. Boom, yeah, there we go. Uh, we're going to get in first. And sunk. There we go. And we've got just enough crew to send that back to port. 
But we were unlucky this time. Never mind. We're back in harbour, I've done a couple of trips up and down, which has made us a bit of money, but quite frankly not as much as I was hoping for, and plus our terror is a bit high. So what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop doing the runs backwards and forwards, and I think we're going to spend a little bit of this money before we move on. So let's go into our lodging, lodgings, pick up another 50 there, so that's 261 echoes. Still can't rest, and that is really starting to worry me. I'm convinced that that is a bug, but we'll see. Okay, so go to the shops. Uh, let's get our fuel up. That's supplies. Nine, 10. So there we go. That leaves us another 200. There was something I wanted to pick up, which was this. I don't believe we've got one at the moment. No, we haven't got anything in that slot, so this one. Let's buy a wither and optical, which will give us plus one mirrors, which is just going to get us into combat so much faster. So we shall pop that in there, and we've got a spare gun here, I've noticed, so let's sell that off as well. well let's use that secret before we go as well. I know there was two there, but I want to keep one in reserve as often as I remember. Um, there we go. So we can sell one of those off. That gives us an extra 10 echoes. I don't think anyone's going to argue that the harpoon is a good idea. So that gives us uh, 111 echoes still. Is there anything we want to pick up? Ideally, I'd like to get one of these. This is engine power 1000, this is engine power 800, so going a little bit faster would be nice. I think uh, 1000 Echoes is beyond our reach at the moment. Um, but no. What I will do for now is I think I will just set up for the next episode, which will be... Um, I will do a little bit more of this uh, um, grinding backwards and forwards to start off with, pick up a bit of money, and then we'll go somewhere interesting. Okay, so that's three more tomb collars for next time. Um, we could use some more sailors. Hire on more crew, 81% chance, 30 echo. Yeah, let's do them. Oh, don't have any echo. We'll do that next time around. But we can recruit here. These guys seem to keep on turning up. We can't afford them, but we can afford this one. So this will increase our crew by one. So let's do that. We've gained one crew. We've lost five Echo. We've lost one Terra. Okay. There we go. That's given us at least a little bit of a buffer. Right, so I think I'm going to leave it there. Um... Next episode, I will do a little bit more of the grind again at the start. We'll pick up a bit of money. 
then we'll do an upgrade if we can and then we'll head off somewhere else interesting on the map uh, we've learned some new things today we found the sisterhood which I think is more or less as farthest east we've gone so what I'd like to do perhaps is explore this area to the east of Vendabite uh, because I don't think we've actually been there but let's do it judiciously let's do it carefully let's see what we can find well that's it for now thank I think uh, thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I've been Simon Parsons and this has been Sunless Sea thank you and good night